Gold TV and I'm joined by a legend of legends who is here to talk about the K-League and his time in Korea. Today's guest is Suwon Samsung's number 10, Dan Damianovic. Yeah. <laughs> One Korean food that you like the most? Denjenjige. This kind of soup I really like. And uh, my wife is not really a fan of spicy food, but I push her to eat this, this kind of soup because it really tastes well. It smells nice, and if they prepare not too much spicy, it's unbelievable. I can eat only with rice, I don't need anything else. Samja, this sauce is nice for all, all foreign players like that. No, no, only samja. Only samja. Yeah, their yeah. recipe is really simple. Just give me samja. Their style is like this. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to the time when you first came to Korea, that is 2007. 2007. Unbelievable. That time uh, Incheon, Incheon was bringing a lot Yugo, Yugo players, so Shekularats and uh, Stefan, they were working with um, Incheon, like agents, so they, they, they bring me in Incheon. I, I didn't came to sign contact, I had some test games, you know, they want to see me. So we went to Guam, so many things happened there, I played good and then I signed. That 2007 Incheon didn't have this new stadium, we were playing on Munhak. I started scoring goals and uh, they said uh, I can be new Sasha. I said, guys, you know what is Sasha? It's, it's, it's like miles, miles. That was 2007. Now 2018, they are saying I'm far away from Sasha. So, like I said, from the first day it looks, it's gonna be good for me here in Korea. Is there a moment when you think to yourself, like, oh my God, I'm basically a Korean now? Yeah, <laughs> but they call me Dayan Mingu. <laughs> so yeah, they they give me that nickname. So I'm I'm yeah I'm I'm happy to be like that. Honestly, if somebody spent 10, 12 years in one country, to be clear, I had a lot of chances to go abroad or just change the country, and I stay here because I like it. I feel nice, and I'm I'm really happy to hear that they sometimes they call me Dayan Mingu or a Korean way of culture, saying hi. You know, I'm Hyung, and Korean players. You know, Korean players. I'm foreigner. For them, I'm foreigner. But they treat me like Korean. That means they respect what I'm doing here and what I did and what I'm doing and I hope so what I'm gonna do a little bit more. It's nice. I feel nice. I don't, I don't feel like strange. I get used to this. I have a Montenegro passport, but I'm Korean. They, they look me like that. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> so you played in this uh, Serbian, Korean and Chinese football leagues. What are some differences you've noticed between the leagues? Okay, Serbian league is not bad, but normally the biggest problem are uh, facilities and, uh, and normally money for the players. And uh, that's the biggest problem in, in my country. Now I'm saying just for Serbian, there is no, how to say, regular salaries mm. in a lot of the teams. So. When we have like some talent, 18, 17, 18, they already have agent, they're just looking to run away from Serbia. Chinese league, uh, what I like, fans. Full stadiums, 30, 40, 50,000 people every game. Uh, uh, this uh, feeling before the game when we are coming uh, with the bus on the stadium, that's like thousands of the kids in front of the stadium buying uniforms uh, with families. Uh, they are all in Beijing t-shirts. They are like, when they see our bus, that's so, they are like, ah, that's like kicking our bus, like, let's go. This is something what, what we football players, we want to feel. In Europe, that's, that's something normal. Every country have this kind of feeling when you are coming on the game, you feel like adrenaline, you are coming to your full stadium, they're gonna push you to play good. If Korea have these kind of things, K-League teams will win. ACL every year, next 50 years. Believe me, that's something what this is the biggest problem for, for Korean football. But Chinese league, yeah. strange, really good foreigners, because China really pays, uh, pay, pays a lot for foreigners. So 
I must say uh, the level of the league uh, is not that high, that's my opinion. Foreigners are unbelievable, but that's not enough I mean, because you play with three foreigners and eight Chinese players. So, And uh, the most important, K-League. Excellent Korean players, excellent uh, abilities, uh, good character, uh, excellent facilities. You have every condition and uh, to make it and make some good team, but stadium empties, not too many foreign, foreign staff. You know, they are not even giving chance to foreigners too much. I don't know why, man. I know it's your, it's your country, it's Korean, don't worry. I respect that. If you want to do something extra, you want to improve your national team, you need to give chance to foreigners. Not only on one level, every level. Be open mind, try to learn, try to listen to somebody else who, who has to say something. This is something what they are really bad in that, to be clear about that. And if you say something a little bit harder or how say tougher, they will just move you out. It's not that they're going to listen and say, yeah, maybe you're right. No, they're going to just say, okay, 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 and then you are out, just on the side. Like me, who is really long time here. What do you think I'm going to say for myself? I, I don't have any interest from that. I'm not saying him bring my, uh, my, my brother from, from Montenegro. I'm not saying this. You see national team, how, how play there. For me, bad. I have a lot of my friends there in national team, Korean. They play with me and they are my friends. They didn't play good, man. That's fact. They can play much better. So if you want to improve and make some good results like 2002, you need to give chance to foreigners in every level. Every level. Every level. When you change your mind, maybe teams are going to get better. When teams get better, games going to be more quality. When games are more quality, then fans are going to come on the stadium because they have something to see. I don't want to speak about history, but when I was in FC Seoul, I must say because I spent eight years there. Man, we played these few years, we scored every game, two goal, three goal, four goal. We play football, 30 something thousand, 30, almost 30 average. Mm -hmm. Seoul had this year, 30,000 people came to watch us because they know a game is going to be really interesting. Chances, football, goals, nice games and people like, like that, like me. If everything is connected, you cannot change one thing, you need to change step by step many things. But the biggest problem is mind, Korean mind. They are really, really strange about this. They don't want to give chance. They think Korean way is the best way. We need to Korean way and that's the only way. So if you want to do something for your national team, like I said, and to improve the league for the, some, some future, mm -hmm. they need to do this. This is like a must do. Not maybe, must do. And then maybe you're going to have better results, maybe. One Belgium, guys, I need to say this, one Belgium had like, they miss two Euro and two World Cup or one World Cup and two Euro competition, Euro championship because of bad generation. And what they did, clean everything. Let's go again from the start. Invest in young, young generation, put new coaches, ambitious, uh, talented. They make new generation. Now they, they, wait, they are three on, third on World Cup. De Bruyne, Azar, Lukaku, all young players, they are all together, same generation. And they, they went out together from the uh, under 19, under 21. And look now, Belgium is one of the best national teams in the, in the, in the world. So maybe Korean need to look something like this and to say, well guys, let's try, switch. Let's bring some foreign coaches on some levels. Let's uh, give chance to some foreign players to help you not only to run for you on the game. Maybe in the future K League can do something really good because they, have, they are the best. K League is the best league in Asia. For me, that's, that's fact. I feel that when I play in China against Korean teams and when I'm in normally K League play against any other country. I feel that fear when they play against us. Nobody wants to play against us. So we need to use this and upgrade to make something greater with national team and normally to K-League to improve. Because now, I don't like what I'm seeing. I think we are going down. Really honest opinion from, from somebody who, who saw many good things here and uh, who saw many bad things. So before games, they were really interested. Uh, every, every team had really good Korean player, national team player. Money was, they were, really paying a lot for, for K-League teams. Budget is, was really good, so every player had good contract. Now in Korea, is uh, uh, 
uh, gross contract, so you need to pay tax before they didn't pay tax. I don't know, I'm not saying for prices, but if you have now here $2, but you need to pay tax. In Thailand, you have $2.5 net. Why I'm not going there? I'm professional, I'm, I have family, I need to think about my family, not only about, they cannot keep players easy like before. Believe me, that's one of the reasons, that's, but no, that's just, how to say, business. Somebody can pay you more and that's, that's okay, but K-League, teams like Chombuk who can really pay good, you see how they are, how they, they are champions. They are champions, man, they have a good team, they keep the players, the best players, they give them nice money, they, nobody try to play football anymore, nobody try to play nice. But if you don't play nice, who is going to come to watch you? I understand result is the most important, but you cannot play every game like this. Everything from the beginning. Invest here to do this, to play nice game, to make interesting game, and then fans are going to come. That's the only way to say, no, no, I'm player, I'm doing this, I'm just saying you need to do this, but it's, maybe it's not easy. It's not easy, I know. You need to try to do that. You see, this is not working. I play sometimes against some teams. I can, I can hear fans on the stadiums, what they're saying, you know, like two guys speaking. It's, it's empty. So, and uh, this schedule is really strange. Guys, we are playing on 45 degrees. It's seven o'clock game, humid 80% and we have game now and again Wednesday and again kill us from March to June and from September to November. That time you put a lot of games. Summertime, give us a rest. We are, we are human beings. What you think I can run on 40 degrees? I'm sorry, but I can't. If you think somebody else can, can run, you, you lie yourself, man. And even Korean players in 60 minutes, they collapse. It's impossible, it's 40 degrees, humid, and you lose like, we lose three kilo after the game. So everything, this, it's like, like I said, big ball in that ball, these problems are rolling the league in, in, in uh, how say, in the hall, down the hill. So we need to do all together something, and um, I am more than welcome to help outside of the pitch if they need something, but they need to be more open mind, like I said. Fans are the main product that we football players can enjoy on the game and they, when we see 30, 40,000 on, on the stadium. But we need to do everything else that they come on the game. So mm -hmm. it's not easy, but we can try. The league, the league is really going downhill with these fans and the games are really boring without fans. So we need to try all together to, to help each other, to improve the league again and to be recognized again like the best league in Asia and national team to be one of the best national teams in the world, not only in Asia. For all Gold TV viewers and uh, FC Suwon and K-League fans, uh, thanks first for watching this. Thanks Gold TV viewers and uh, Gold TV to inviting me and uh, I hope so. We're going to have a nice time on the pitch, outside of the pitch and uh, we're going to enjoy every moment together. So thanks and see you soon on the games.